Gaurav. Uh, uh, multiple dossiers have been provided. The External Affairs Ministry statement suggests that uh, Prime Minister Modi, in fact, may have brought, you know, brought this up uh, you know, with, uh, with Trudeau directly during that G20 pull aside as well. You know, a, a, a tit-for-tat action being taken by the Indian government. But is this likely to escalate further? It certainly is expected to escalate, Shiv. India has been more than kind with Justin Trudeau. Of course, India has given Justin Trudeau the cold shoulder. Even when he came to India in 2018 and stayed mm. here for a week, uh, uh, you know, uh, it was it was virtually uh, outstaying his his, his uh, hospitality even that time. Uh, but you remember all that song and dance and wearing traditional Indian clothes yeah. and dancing uh, like, like in a wedding. Justin Trudeau did all of that. But that didn't cut ice with government of India because of Justin Trudeau's support to Khalistani elements and the Narendra. Narendra Modi government has been very firm from day one. Yes, we want great relationship with uh, with that Canada. Yes, we want to move forward on the uh, uh, you know uh, trade agreement. At the same time, we do not want Khalistanis in Canada uh, spewing venom against India in the name of free speech and also trying to break India's sovereignty. And, yes. and uh, you know Justin Trudeau government encouraging a secessionist movement. Shiv, that tableau showing the assassination of uh, late Prime Minister Indira Gandhi at Brampton. In any civilized society, heads would have rolled for such a tableau. But yeah. in Canada, Justin Trudeau has actually tried to pass it off as free speech. If this is free speech, Shiv, and that inaction against uh, Karima Balot's killers, it just shows when these so-called liberals and Islamists come together, it's a very lethal cocktail. And India has actually warned Canada that this lethal cocktail will have dangerous ramifications for Canada. And we're seeing what's happening there. You know, so far there was animosity. There were dossiers flying between each side. Uh, but now, you know, things have come to a head. This is hostile action that has been declared and hostile action that's also been taken. Sushant and Gaurav, stay with me for a moment. I'm going to come back to the both of you in just a, a minute from now because I want to play another report that India Today's crime chief, Arvind Oja, broke last week, but he has a huge update today. At least 12 men accused of serious crimes, gangsters, terrorists, as well as Khalistani terrorists from India who are safely operating from Canadian soil. Some of these faces may be very familiar to you. This is India's most wanted list of gangsters and terrorists who've got safe haven in Canada. This is a big, big India Today exclusive. Watch this report. India's most wanted list for Canada. Ashdeep Singh, alias Arsh Dalla. Accused of masterminding the murder of a local Congress leader in Punjab's Moga on Monday. A listed terrorist belonging to the outlawed Khalistan Tiger Force carrying out his operations from Canada. Originally from Tarn Tarn in Punjab, Lakhvir Singh linked to the ISI in Punjab. Named in last year's rocket attack on Mohali's intelligence building. Gangster Goldie Brar, alias Satvinder Singh, accused of orchestrating the murder of singer Siddhu Musewala from his den in Canada. At least 12 men wanted in connection with serious crimes in India, terrorism included, have found a safe sanctuary in Canada. Many of them carrying out their nefarious activities in India remotely and with impunity. With Arvind Oja, Bureau Report, India Today.